Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and as Mario decides that he's no longer cold and shivering, uh, welcome back to the Ice of Elemental Mountain here in Paper Mario, the Origami King, where we have just completed this area. We obtained the new element that Olivia can now fold herself into, and it's time to take on the rest of Diamond Island, because now that we have that fourth of Elemental under our belts, things are going to be good for us, and we'll be able to uh, complete the trials of power, wisdom, and courage. So let's go ahead and get this started, shall we? So uh, obviously you're going to need to use the one that correlates with what is wrong with it. So Earth Elemental it is. And because there's not really any need to show this again, other than the fact that we have already seen each of these transformations multiple times, we're just going to skip right on in. This sounds like a good time for me. There we go. And so basically to solve the other two trials, we would need the Ice of Elemental, so I just wanted to keep it all organized and have everything go just as smoothly as possible, because uh, things are not going smoothly here at uh, Ellison Cruz slash the Riff Repeater LLC headquarters at all, and we'll get more into that later, but for now, it's time for the Trial of Power. Overcome its three challenges to earn a sacred orb. Orb! So, let's do it. Uh, this one, they're all relatively easy, but they are kind of random, aside from this one. So more or less what we need to do is destroy all of the bricks, except there are none. The room is empty. Did they just forget to put a trial here? Let the trial of power begin. You must destroy all the blocks within the time provided. So we have three rooms to do this in like a minute and a half, so we just gotta jump and destroy them all, and it's just gonna be a lot of, like, platform-based stuff, mostly, so. Ooh, nice! Alright, so same thing here. Just jump a couple extra times for there, and... Ooh, and last one is... Ooh, jump, Mario! Jump, man! There we go. So that gave you plenty of time, but that was actually probably my best performance of that, so we may now proceed to the next stage. Can you guess how they're gonna shake it up for the next room? I mean, we do have two different modes of attacking, but... Yeah, this is where it gets a little unusual. And you'll see what I mean by that later. So, we may now wield our mighty hammer. Press B to raise your hammer and press A at the right moment to land an excellent attack. So it's the same timing that we use in the middle of battles, but it's now kind of shifted to being overworld tactics. It's weird, and I don't like it. So, for these ones, we can just do small nices, and it's actually I think a little bit faster to do it that way. Although, what you can do is get excellence on these middle ones. I completely forgot about that, and it'll do that. So, that kind of encourages you to do that. But to get rid of the bigger ones, that's certainly one thing that you're going to have to take into consideration. Ugh. Otherwise, you know, it's just I don't think it's worth the time to do the little flippy for that. So, there we go. Now this one, there we go. So I think if we do it perfectly, we can do this in two strikes. And there we go. Even faster than before. Now this next one. Oh, you might be thinking for the third and final trial. They might be mixing it up even more. And it's not entirely the case, as you guys will see here, because there is a giant screw or a nail that needs to be pounded into the floor. Yes, smash this great nail into the floor within the time provided. So, uh, we could either use our jump attacks, just like we normally do, and that will be timed, or we could use our hammer. And personally, I'm not sure about the hammer, but the timing for the jumping is so weird in this. It's just, it's just off by a, a very slight amount. So, we'll maybe alternate. I want to see how much we actually do with the B first. So we can chain up to a maximum combo of four jumps. And that, I feel like, is a little more effective. But if you miss your timing, then you, like, stumble, and it's, like, really unfortunate. Ooh, that is really good. I should just do this. All right, we'll try jump. So, uh, two, three, and four. And then on, it's, like, super delayed. There we go. Wow. All right. Not that bad. Well done, Mario. Give yourself a thumbs up. We all deserve some self-appreciation now and then. But we have conquered the trial of power. This victory shall now be celebrated. Concluded. Proceed to the next room and claim your orb. So, the thing that I've been looking forward to in doing these trials is the fact that in those little tiny cutscenes, I'm able to get a couple of swigs of coffee in while it's still warm, so that's good. Welcome to the game. 
this is what we're gonna be doing for a little bit and I hope you guys enjoy it because we've got some orbs we need for a very particular reason yeah we've passed the trial of power hooray I knew you were super strong Mario yeah tell me something I don't know now wisdom and courage on the other hand I don't know I feel like a couple of sissies would be the ones to <laughs> have those power orbs <sighs> Just kidding, Zelda and Link would kick my ass. All right, well, let's continue on over here. And in case it wasn't entirely obvious, I guess, just gotta use a little bit of the old ice powers, shall we? And again, super realistic, what a. So because we just saw this, let's just go ahead and skip it. It's fine, as much as I do enjoy these transformation sequences, this one is actually, I think, the most generic one of them all, even though I really like his design. But look at him, doing his little hyper beam, and then whoop boom Yeah, that makes a whole ton of sense. You destroyed it and perfectly sculpted it into purely fine ice. It's good. Good stuff. Oh, and major ice physics. Jeez. All right. Well, I don't know if Mario created that much momentum. So much inertia, you know? But welcome to Nehru's love. This is the trial of wisdom. Overcome his three challenges to earn a sacred orb. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the most luck dependent one yet because it is a Paper Mario game, which means we are now going to be subjected to the fan favorite trivia mini games of this uh, title. So um, I have yet to get all of the questions because it's randomized every single time but it basically boils down to true or false and some of them are evil wait it's a, yeah yeah there we solved the trial easy peasy same so let's let the trial begin you may answer each question make a choice within the time provided here we go the first question the name of captain to submarine is the princess peach well we already know that's certifiably false it is the super marino Princess Peach is a cruise liner. So if you mess up, you fall into a pit. I'm assuming you take damage, but yeah. Or oh, I guess it's the Merino, my bad. And it's kind of nice that they kind of tell you and explain it. Because some of these questions are actually not even related to specific things in the game. Some are just kind of like riddles. So here we go. One ton of iron is heavier than one ton of cotton. Well, that is false. They're both one ton. Duh. <laughs> yes, I am absolutely certain. Right? I'm not being a dummy. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, the density of the individual materials does not matter. Unless it's cotton. <laughs> unless it's a feather or gold. All right. And for the last one. So this one's actually going to be a little bit different. And I hadn't had either of those questions. So it's interesting. I don't even... One of them was has to deal with hills and something. But this one... Oh, man. I am bad at these. The third question. Speak with all three figures, then choose the one who is lying. So we talk to this one, he says, the liar is B. Okay, that's what you say. This one says, I am not the liar. Okay, so these two are at odds with each other, which means this guy will determine who's lying. The liar is A. So if you're telling the truth that he says that the liar is B, then he has to be lying. I hope. Logic, not my strongest suit, apparently. Here we go. Get in there, Mario! Oh, thank God. <laughs> my heart actually skipped a beat, because that felt a little too easy. <sighs> yeah, the last time I played this, I had a rough time. But for some reason, the prompt still stayed along the top, and the timer didn't count down for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> Celebration concluded. Proceed to your next room and claim the orb. Will do. Those celebrations need to be longer, damn it. I need to bask in my incredible problem solving nature. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Our good old wisdom orb. You've passed the trial of wisdom. Thank you. Hooray! You're the wisest of the wise, Mario. Oh yeah, so the other question that I had, so one was talking about Overlook Mountain, and it had something to do with hills, and it's like, were there the same number of uphills as there were downhills, and the answer was true, apparently, and I was like, that makes sense, but the other one was like, okay, a school bus 
is holding 12 people. If seven passengers get off, then five people will remain or something. Or five passengers remain. And then the answer was false because it didn't take into consideration the bus driver. So it's just like one of those weird things. But um, this one is pretty clear that we need to use the water elemental to fill up the old moat. And then uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to skip that. And then we use ice again, so it's good. How's it going, my old pregnant water dragon friend? I missed you. Look at, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. The ripples did not match the waves there for a second. <laughs> like the ripples were going like from right to left, but the other waves were going like up and to the right. All right, and for the last one, let's just go ahead and ice it up, baby. Oh yeah. So, skip because we've already seen it, and it's weird that they would make us watch this animation again. You know. Yeah, do that old hyper beam, or I guess in this game it's called the glacier beam. Nice. And we're good. Mario is raising his hands to old mother god, and I'm gonna take a quick heal before we head in there because we will actually need it once we leave this place. Plus, there is another toad here. Welcome, traveler. If you require mushrooms, they are available for purchase here. Weird. Uh, oh, but they're shiny. I will not. I have plenty in my pocket. I probably should just eat it rather than sit on the bench, but you know what? I'm lazy. Take a break and rest your back. And while you get yourself on track, have a tasty mushroom snack. No, I already declined your offer, sir. Don't appreciate you trying to shove your mushrooms down my throat. Please. I've had enough of those in my lifetime. Let's head in here and uh, be done with this. So this one is the Trial of Courage, and it's more or less uh, reflexes, and it's not really the most difficult thing in the world, but the last one can be pretty evil. So that might be something you wanna watch out for. Whew. Oh yeah, you know where this is going. Okay, Temple, bring it on, show us what you got. We're not scared, we're not, huh? What gives? I thought we'd need to show the Temple how courageous we are, but this is just a lousy rope. Yeah, let the Trial of Courage begin. You may approach. Sure. So, this rope connects to an unseen object. The object will soon fall from above. We need to make sure that the bottom of it lands below the dotted line that is indicated by the red arrow. So, yeah. It's gonna be good. And it's pretty decent. I have not been able to play this on a television, so I don't really know how bad the lag's gonna be. But I hope it's not terrible, since I was getting pretty close already uh, while playing in handheld. So... Which I think is like a fantastic way to be playing this game. The first one is generally pretty easy. Uh, that, that was way too early, but it also fell a lot slower than you would think. So, we're good. We're set. And uh, life's pretty alright for us. Cool. Could we not have just done the same thing in this, in this room? We, we have to continually teleport ourselves, lose a couple of molecules in the process of teleportation every what way? Alright. Yeah. Fine, I got it. This one isn't even that bad either. It's more or less the same, although the arrow is a little bit lower, so let's make sure we don't get bopped on the head. Although, I think we probably could just start over pretty easily. I haven't failed any of these, so... Ooh, oh my goodness, that was hardly, hardly good. Okay. We still, we still went under, but... Whew, just feeling a little nervous for Mario there. I mean, of course, I'm courageous, but man... So it's interesting also, we're stepping into an orange portal and we're being let off by a blue one. I don't know if there's something to be said about that or if it's just the fact that they're complementary colors, but man oh man. So this one is pretty hard. This is going to be the most courageous act we will be uh, delivering ourselves here. So let's wait a moment and concentrate because we will probably end up losing. If we're not careful, <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> All right, that's the one that matters, my friends. <sighs> wow, you conquered the trial of courage. This victory shall now be celebrated. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. Oh, good God. I need to not be so obsessed with coffee at 9 o'clock at night, you know? 
actually started somewhat getting a somewhat decent sleep schedule in, but uh, you know, these late night coffee sessions are certainly not helping. So let's go ahead and grab this, and there we have it. Our final orb and Diamond Island is done. I almost called the Diamond Step again. And if somebody calls me out on that, I swear to God. All right, we're indeed very courageous. Very ape and very nice. Cool, so yeah, those are fun, and I doubt that it lets you do any of these again, but I'm, I don't would not bother trying, other than maybe looking for different uh, ooh, questions in the wisdom. Yeah, congratulations, Traveler. Huh, yeah, great work, Mario. I've been wondering, what do these three orb thingies even do? Yeah, I guess we haven't really figured that out yet, but it actually correlates to where the streamer is, and I've specifically kind of been going out of the way of getting to it as to not exactly spoil it, but that's going to change here soon. So, we're going to return to the surface, and we're basically going to be doing some great sea cleanup, because we are nearly at the end of the chapter. There is only one real big area left, and then we'll defeat the boss and the purple streamer, which is nice.